the Shrunken Headman Club is a community of students that have banded together to help each other succeed in school and in art. Um, it's also a network where people can connect with each other to help each other in their careers. It's also friendship. Uh, so many people have made lifelong friends in this club. The time we spent in school uh, is totally, totally irreplaceable. And the friends we've made there are, are, will be our friends forever. It is a group of talented illustrators and, and animators. Everybody who is in the program, not in the program, who is interested in drawing, uh, animating. An elite squad elite. of passionate individuals that form one entity. One giant robot. That freaking unleashes its power upon the world. It's, it's like a family. I, I, it really is the bottom line for me. Is uh, The Shrunken Headman Club was a great way to meet other students who were involved in the program, who had similar aspirations in life to, to work in either illustration or animation, obviously. It was a great place to generate ideas, to kind of bounce things off of other people, and share information and knowledge. And it was a lot of fun. I mean, we had, we had great parties. You know, we'd get everybody together and, and we'd hang the, the shrunken head man flag up and, and we'd have a great time. It, it really made the, the whole experience of being at San Jose State just that much better. A wonderful way to build friendships and, and a community with the other artists that were in the program. And I can't imagine how solitary I would have felt with, without the shrunken head. Uh, in my college experience. Those are two guys. Hey, what's up? Hey, Enrique. Hey, Enrique. These are some of the old time guys. <laughs> I graduated three years ago. <laughs> three years Don't believe ago. It. I was 22. Yeah. It's, it's premature. It's premature. It's really dizzying. <laughs> You don't get a lot of sleep, but you get a lot of companionship. Oh, that's if you don't sleep. Yeah, that's a sleepless night. You paint tide pools. A lot of coffee. I didn't paint a tide pool. I never finished my tide pool. Nor did Ian Amling, for the record. It's true. But we work very Next hard. Next question! I really did feel like we were part of like the cool group. When you weren't of, yeah. in it, it was the cool group to be in, and once yeah. you were in it, it was just a bunch of nerds. Yeah. Like, but then, <laughs> and they were like, wait a minute, these guys are just as big of a nerds as I am, but I love it. And then, because we, I mean, I think we could, I could speak for both of us, where we've been nerds all our life, and we're like, oh man, I'm dreaming about not being a nerd one day. And Truck and Head Man Club was the place when you got there, you're like, you know, it's pretty cool being a nerd. You're finally yeah. accepted <laughs> as a nerd. Yeah, like, definitely yeah. by the end, you earned it. You earned your degree if you get it, mm -hmm. and you earned the job if you get it, and otherwise you, you've earned the experience by the end, so you still earned something the by popularity the popularity, too. No. And no the babes. No, none of that. <laughs> none of that. It's actually really cool because it's really like a, an honor to uh, for me to be in it at this point because there's uh, 15 years of generations that have gone through the program and they've gone and gone on and done amazing things and I can look at, at their history and see what they've done and, their, and look at the, their paths they've taken and just like be really proud of being a shrunken headman and seeing what we've accomplished as a group and as individuals. <laughs> I think on a more visceral level it's total emotional ro roller coaster. Like you go through hell and you feel like that you're at your lowest point and then like this, like today, like some alumni will come in, some amazing artists that you just totally respect and say a few words of, you know, just their experience, the encouragement, and then you're like, the whole day is just turned around and you're like kind of reignited to uh, just like, you know, just, you know, okay, you know, a messed up day, but, you know, I'm going to just try to be better. So there's that. The, I think the whole legacy of the pro, of the Shrunken Headman and whatnot just... I think that's a big part of what keeps you really motivated. So I had you, you heard you had a what? little uh, comment on stage last night that what shocked happened? the I audience. Kind of, I kind of blacked out. <laughs> no, I just said something about uh, the 15th annual Shrunken Men's Sex Party. It was one of 
with it. I, it was all part of the plan. I wanted that glare because I missed it. Out of that glare. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm just trying to follow in the steps of Dave Chai. You have to look at reference. Uh, I should not be on camera right now. <laughs> Um, you don't, when you're in the Shrunken Headman Club and um, at school, you don't know how lucky you are or how the school is perceived out in the industry. And uh, in my experience, when I work in different studios and um, work with different art directors, the, you know, people are aware of it, you know, and they say, they, they, a lot of people describe the spirit of the Shrunken Headman Club. Oh, you, Randolph, you graduated from there? Man, that, there's something special about that school. So we were doing this critique in Bunny's class, right? And uh, she, she looked at me, and she looked at my friend Ron, and this other guy named Rick, and she gave us, and she, and you know how like when someone says something to you, and uh, you remember those words for the rest of your life, and then you're just, you're just, your work just gets better? You guys, this is what she said. She says, hey, Randolph, Ron, and Rick, you guys are so talented, you could outdraw this whole school. But you're just lazy. <laughs> Describe the spirit, and then you know it's like everyone works hard. Um, the work is beautiful, um, and they encourage one another, right? And um, it's really nice to hear people outside the industry talk about our school in that way. You know, it's really really cool. Learn to network. I have had chance. I've had times where I, I learned that where I was not so quite so introverted, mm -hmm. and be more social and take more risks and push people and get to know everybody, you know, get the skills to learn how to network properly. But it's like, you're going to have friends in and out of here for life. who are going to be guys who are your buds in the industry, who you'll be able to like pick up a phone and call. I mean, when I was quitting a job with, when I quit my job with the military and I had three weeks in the CIA and I had enough of it, I literally was good enough with some guys I worked on a Pirates of the Caribbean project with to just pick up the phone and call them and say, I am quitting, I need a job, hire me. And they go, okay, let's get you in. If you, if you work hard and you stay on top of what you need to get done, then great things can happen for you. And with the animation program, with, especially with Shrunken Headman, everyone, everyone in Shrunken Headman is, they, they, you know, they're, they're working hard for themselves, but they're at the same time, they're working as a group, as a unit. And, um, it, that's one thing that you know, I'm, I'm encouraging my students to do. And, it's, and, you know, yeah, I make my students work hard, and I, I'm, I try and be the bunny Courtney. is like, oh, this is crap, and jump up and down on it. And, but I think what it is is, it's, you know, it's like I, there's this need for me to tell the students that you need to do it. You can do it, but it helps to have other people help you move along, too. And that, I think, is the most important thing. So I just want to thank them, Money for Me, John, for all this foundation, anybody else who's ever here, the Bear, all of all, all you cats out there who love this out. Um, and look around. Everybody just take a look at everybody around here. And this is this is our legacy. This is their legacy. Um, and I want to see you keep going. I want to be back in 30 years, baby. So uh,